Okay, my friends, I'm just going to put it out there. Electron flood solves this issue. I think possibly it needs to be looked at, but I think there's a good possibility. Now, why do I say that? They have come up with this silicon using it for a battery, but they can take in electrons so fast, there's no way for them to provide them that fast. Now, I think electron flood through the venturi can do this job. Now, they're going to be using silicon instead of the other battery types. Now, the reason I say electron flood can solve this is because right after the venturi, we can split apart the electron and the dark matter. Nobody knows about the dark matter. They don't know the muon is attached to the electron. I can show this. And photons, I also show, are back-to-back -back electrons. If we can get the electron completely separated, boom, I could think you could charge almost anything virtually instantly. And, and I believe I can show we can do that. All right, the people at Tesla seriously should get a hold of me. We have a device that crushes light. That is light. And the black balls are the muons, which is dark matter, which, is, which was attached to the white balls. This is shown in red because you can't put white on white. So what we have is dark matter, the black balls, and the electrons. The electrons are the things that we want. They just happen to have to be attached to these, but they don't have to be. As we can see, there is nothing but white balls here. Originally, when they entered that Venturi and that Crusher, they were just like this. I'm going to show you this, so don't worry. We're going to get to it. And This is exactly the setup that Rod used. A red pulse laser, bip, 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 and then he used the Crusher down here, which is the Venturi. We saw the particle accelerate. We saw the black and the white particles attached to each other. In, and green ones too, and green and white. It doesn't matter what it is. The particle is the photon, and they're back-to-back -back electrons. All right, When they bounce off of you, they don't kill you. An electron, if they hit, a ton of them hit you at once, you're dead. Now, that is the spray, literally, of electrons. All right, this is all that there is to electron flood theory because all there is is electrons. And 1837 of them make, in, make up a proton. 1838, which is equal, make up a neutron. And that accounts for everything because you can add a few more here, take a few away. That gives you isotopes. It gives you a nuclear decay. It gives you every type of catalyst enzyme reaction that is the human body. And I, I'm going to just show you something before I erase my big board because we're going to have to go to the big board for this. And I was doing something. I don't think I showed it yet. Hold on. Okay, quick and simple. Light from a red pulse laser. Bip, 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 bip. But those are just big balls of magnetic regions. They are not just waves. Okay, that was that wave, but it literally is a ball like that, and that is the photon that is in the center, and it literally looks like that. And as it accelerates, I know light's not supposed to accelerate, but it does quite easily, and the light is a particle, and it's seen quite easily. And as it concusses, it is shown because concussion is pushed to shove, and that creates heat, and that creates resistance, and that is the thing that creates the... Stop, you know, a, a bottleneck to the flow of electricity. However, in what we did was create a crusher, which all of the black particles, which are in these photons, I don't know if I showed you this yet, but here it is. There's, there's what an electron looks like. When you're pushing electrons through a circuit, you've got to push that dark matter with it. You don't just have an electron. Nobody knows that was there. <laughs> Nobody knew it was there. That is literally gravity. That's pulling things together so that you pushing, you're trying to push that electron away. Now, photons in the air are back-to-back -back electrons swishing through the air, spinning through the air, and not incorporating with things in the air necessarily like electrons do static. It goes right down to Earth. Photons can sort of bounce around now. But when they impact, they give these showers. And I should hear there's just showers. Now, this seems to this is a very high speed well, it's a, it's a laser. 
so you have an accelerated particle first of all but then the crusher creates these balls that I showed you I don't know where it is now it's gone but it, it, they're huge and they have to come back into this region which crushes them when it crushes them the dark matter muon moves away from the electron and right in this region here Mr. Elon Musk I believe we can harvest basic electrons only and, and that's just almost unheard of nobody realized that electrons were a part of muons and they are dark matter attached to what we consider an electron which is the explosive part I'm going to show you all this stuff no guesses here now remember this when these pulses boom 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 smash into each other and they create these huge energy explosions we also get a reverse EMF you see that that's what's called reverse electromotive force and that concusses the waves back this way you see it pushing back and against more light waves look like this and they're coming out of the laser and not just in that one spot it happens that it's focused on what we call the the crusher the venturi right here so anyway I, I have a lot of information about this and let me just show you I don't want to take up too much of your time but the, the um, where is over here somewhere all right here is super muons when they come out there they are going into the crusher the black balls just go around the outside and come here this is a hundred percent electrons as far as I'm concerned 100 percent okay I'm just gonna make it quick and simple this is a red pulse laser it's accelerating quite obviously it's a particle quite obviously it's concussing and explosive quite obviously and when we get a little closer it is obviously there's a black ball particles and they come in down below they this black and white attached together they look exactly like this going into the venturi then they explode I'll show you that right now so don't forget the pulse laser bip, 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 bip. and the only reason we start seeing the particle is because it's accelerating and it has to to get through the venturi now let's look at the particle let's look at what happens let's look at what the right here I believe Mr. Elon Musk you can harvest raw electrons and I don't think that's ever been done before I think all that's ever been done before is pushing the, the uh, particles that are both positive and negative together I am showing you right there there is a one pole and that's just almost unheard of and I can I can almost prove it to you right now all right now electron flood theory that's all there is is electrons attached to muons which are the dark matter they know there's muons they just don't know where they come from or how, anything about them but they say there's electron showers and there's muon neutrinos and these explode like like I'm showing you and the black ones do nothing like I'm showing you here is exactly what they're asking for this is the venturi this is the concussive electron showers and I believe right in there if you could put some kind of an electrode or a, a funnel or something <laughs> sucking those electrons out before they hit down here you you have raw electrons that's just un unheard of that I know of maybe you know about them but I don't I don't think anybody's ever known that the dark matter they've been looking for forever is just attached to the electrons that are everywhere now this particular device forces them to separate because the dark matter has no concussive value and this is extremely concussive now this is the key to the beauty of this whole thing we know absolutely no question whatsoever is this white particle which is the electron is can be separated from its dark matter particle which is always attached to it until you get into a condition like this now we can also see that that electron raw electron will just grab a dark matter particle over here it's not it, this dark matter particle that hooks it with that one is not the one it came in with obviously so if we can just pull those electrons out you may be able to pop up your battery in a minute or two 
All right, this exactly proves what I'm saying. They just don't understand that the muons are attached to the electrons. Listen to this carefully. Listen to this carefully. Muons are unstable elementary particles and are heavier than electrons. We know they're unstable. The black particles want to get back to the white particles. Very, very unstable. And they say they're heavier than electrons. Well, the electrons are explosive now. They're heavier than electrons and neutrinos, but lighter than all other matter particles. Well, I, I agree with that because they're coming from light and they are dark matter. Because the charge must be conserved. Listen to this carefully. One of the products of muon decay is always an electron of the same charge as the muon positron if it is a positive muon. In other words, they know that they're they they know that they're associated to each other. They just don't know they're attached to each other and they don't know that they're the, the muon is the is dark matter, literally dark matter.